What is going on, people? I got a second review for you today. Check out my review for Kill Order right after this one. But anyway, this movie was sent over to me by the people over at MVD. Um, the movie is called The Aftermath. This came out in 1982, so it's got some 80s quirkiness and, and cheese to it. Anyway, this movie was written, directed, and starring Steve Barkett. It was also written by Stanley Livingston. It stars also stars Lynn uh, Margalis and a young Sid Haig. So pretty much what this one is, two astronauts come back to Earth after like traveling space and such and find that it's now like a post-apocalyptic um mess i guess you want to call it after a world war three happens they come back and everything is devastated and everything is you know not in place you have mutated humans you have a group of people who pretty much just want to take over you know what's left of the earth so they kind of just use their power and and kill people and and attack women and such and that is run by cutter who is sid Haig as a young you know buff Oh, uh, like guy so pretty much they come back to this earth that is completely different than what they left it and pretty much it's them trying to not only help the people that are you know now getting overrun overtaken by this evil group of people but it's also them trying to kind of come to terms with what they left the earth in to what they come back to like it's in shambled and stuff and you know it's it's them fighting these two guys who haven't been a part of this whole situation for the past i forget exactly how long they were in space for but them coming down to the new reality of what earth has become like i said in this movie you get a whole bunch of you know action scenes where this you know group of evil people are whenever they see something new or whatever of course to kind of rule supreme they kind of just do and take what they want at any given time so you get a lot of you know um scenes where it's it's shooting and a lot of scenes where it's you know them taking advantage of women at certain points and it's just you know like a very um mad i wouldn't call it like a mad maxian kind of movie where it's you know straight up like deserts and whatever it still has some you know broken down houses and stuff it's not like a full out like just everything was obliterated whatever there's still you know this this some kind of civilization if you want to call it but there are of course like i said there are uh mutants that some people I, I don't know if it's radiation or whatever um they you know transform but then you really got these these group of bad people that's pretty much what the whole thing is is you know the good guys i guess in essence these astronauts versus the bad guys in this group led by sid hay again it is you know the 80s so you don't get the craziest you know updated visuals and such it does have you know you know it, it takes some time to get used to and whatever like these they'll, they'll have shots of you know like uh the background just doesn't go sometimes with the movie and such um but the scenes where it's just you know a back lay of you know a a desert or you know just trees or whatever it looks fine there's other times where kind of like a space looking thing or or um a background that they might not be exactly at you can kind of tell it because of course in the 80s they don't have you know the technology and stuff they have today cgi wise i guess you want to call it to kind of mask that but overall you know not knowing about it i to tell you the truth, as I've always said, I was never, uh, I've seen movies from the 80s, but my niche and my, you know, when I first started watching movies, it was like the early 90s. So, uh, you know, early 80s kind of stuff, kind of, I passed over. And bringing it back to this, although it might not be the best movie I've ever seen in my life, it was entertaining enough to keep my interest and such. And like I said, um, it's for those who like the post-apocalyptic like if you like Sid Haig you'll like his his character in this he was probably definitely the strongest part out of it just his you know the way he acts and the way he commands stuff you know 
he acted good in this. I, I definitely enjoyed his character. I did not who know who Steve Barkett was, but for what he did, you know, one of the astronauts, kind of the conquering hero kind of deal, he played his part well. And uh, like I said, if you like the post-apocalyptic, if you like the, you know, um, new style of living, I guess you want to call it, where it's, you know, survival of the fittest, I guess you would call it, this movie's for you. I'll leave the link to where you can purchase it. Is It is out right now so i'll leave the link to where you can purchase it as well as the trailer to the movie if you want to check it out before you check it out check out the trailer before you check out the movie but uh like i said just check the description box for everything i talk about as well as all my other social media sites i got an instagram where i show off the movies behind me i got a twitter i got a facebook fan page horror mino i got a snapchat which i hardly ever use a uh what do you want to call it a stardust app just check out everything in the description but like i always say these past couple videos with this whole new rule with youtube if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for more reviews like this and updates and movie uh collection overviews and such and also hit the like button and if you would do so if you want to uh let people know i'm out here share my videos and and uh yeah it'll help out so until next time i'll see you guys